Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel where I bring you mermaid related content to help you live life so mermaid. And today is another Workshop Wednesday video. So in these videos, I like to take you along and show you guys what I'm up to in my workshop. I have a very, very cool tale to work on today. A lot of you have actually seen it already floating about various live streams and the like. And it's actually the Spyro tale. And yes, it is based off of Spyro. No, this is not something I'm publicly offering for everybody. This is actually specifically made for a client as per their request and I had a lot of fun designing it and I can't wait to show you guys how it all comes together. So uh, without further ado, let's just dive right on in to today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the tail first. Um, so you can kind of, if you haven't seen it before and you're like, oh, what is she talking about? What is this, what is this tail? I have Spyro, like what's the deal? So yeah, let's do that first. Oh yeah, this is the dream here. <clears throat> So it has not been ironed, it has not been cut yet. That's all gonna happen uh, next, but I'm gonna just grab this and show you what's the what. Um, so yeah, this is very unique. I haven't done something like this before on a client tail. Um, I did my absolute darndest to make them look like they're actually coming up off the tail. Um, we've got sort of his faux hawk that's become the dorsal down the back with these little extra dragon scale textury kind of guys that sort of go the length of the tail. They do, um, have a gradient that I put actually on them as well. Um, then we come down to this nice gold area here. This is based off of one of Spyro's wings. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I will perhaps put a picture of said awesome dragon right here so you can have like a frame of reference. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so this is the back. Now for the big reveal of the front. Ha -ha. <laughs> I iron it afterwards so I don't worry about wrinkling it now. Um, this is the front. Again, this is something totally new that I've done for this tail. I have not ever done scales, um, big plates like this before. So this was a bit, I mean, I've, okay, look at this, man. I used to design dragons for a living, okay? So of course I've done this before, but um, I've never done it on a mermaid tail before. So I kind of liked how this went. Um, this has kind of come down to a point here. We had played with the idea of putting the spiral, um, you know, his tail spiral here. I felt like it was a bit too busy, and so in the end we kind of agreed on that, that it was just not quite serving the design as well as it could. But I do love, I have this really slick gradient going here. I have lots of little, little details and little accents. There's actually a texture. Um, on these as well in addition to the highlight and I did keep things a little more toony I know that's not everybody's taste on my channel and if it's not yours no biggie, but I'm feeling pretty Pretty good about how this looks and I'm really excited to get it cut out This is gonna take me I bet you this I'm gonna guess this is gonna take about two hours to do so we'll see if I'm right. Now before I get right on into it, um, I do actually live stream some of this for my Patreon pod. So if you see me and I'm like talking and like grooving, we usually have tunes on in the background. We're usually hanging out and vibing and chatting. Um, if you want any information on the Patreon pod, I, I'll give my little spiel at the end of the video, but there are links and everything down in the description box down below if you'd like to join us. So. All that being said, let's kick it up a notch to some sweet tunes for you guys whilst I get going on this bad boy. I'll see you in a little bit.
after a lovely couple of streaming sessions with the Patreon pod. It was about probably like, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes total. Um, I think I'm gonna take a break because the tail is now totally pinned and I've picked out thread and everything is ready to go. And then when I get back, it'll be hunkering down for some sewing, lots of sewing, because this takes some time to do. All that being said, I would love to know what you guys are working on. So comment down below, what projects are you guys working on while we're doing this together? Because I like to think that while we're doing these workshop Wednesdays, maybe you're working on something too. You got a little project going on in the background and I wanna hear about it. So comment below and let me know what you're working on. Now I'm gonna take a break and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm sorry for the AC in the background and for what I look like now just a tiny bit cuz <laughs> It's now 336 and I've been at this for a few hours I'm freaking out <laughs> Do you ever feel in life that you are just so meant to do something that exactly like the moment in time and it's just oh I've cut myself Seriously? Oh no. But yeah, do you ever feel like you're just meant to do a certain thing with your life? Like I know some people must just look at me and be like, you make what for a living? Like you make mermaid tails for a living? I'm sorry, I didn't know nope. what was that. But like we have to explore this for a second because I give myself such a hard time all the time. I'm like, oh, I'm 32. I'm not as young as all these other mermaids. And even these tail makers are younger than me and like blah, 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 blah. And in reality, everything that like, everything that I went through and everything that I've, all the knowledge that I've accumulated over the years has actually led me to be able to do this, to have the right skill set. I am so proud of myself. I cannot wait to see Justin in it. The whole, the whole thing is, is like, I don't know. I used to design monsters for mobile games. So a lot of what I've learned style-wise that works and how to make things feel 3D when they're not 3D and all that kind of stuff actually comes from that job. And I don't know that my art director, like, I don't know if you're ever gonna see this, Kinson, but like, you taught me a lot. And I kind of feel like for this tale in particular, I really have some of your knowledge to thank, okay? Like you, you always inspired me and always pushed me to do a little bit more and a little bit more and you're one of the few people who who did it in such a way that like I felt like I wanted to keep going and I don't know I hope that you guys have luck with it with you know your bosses and stuff out there wherever you are but I was very fortunate that was a team that I worked on that was unlike any I've ever worked for like before or since and I'm not gonna get emotional but this is like almost like my tribute to you guys you, I don't know, like Linda, Linda, do you know? 
Hey Gold, <laughs> Linda Gold, <laughs> I tried. I don't know if I did it quite as shiny as you would have done it, but it's it's there and I don't know, there's just gonna always be people um, in your life, the unexpected people who years down the road, like I'm not really in contact with any of these guys anymore, which is why I'm like, they probably won't, won't see this, but um, <sighs> you guys all had like a huge impact on me and I hope you know that I think of you when I'm doing this kind of stuff, so. Before I start crying, I'm going to finish the fringe on this and get this sucker finished, sewn the rest of it because the sides are all done now and everything. And then that's going to be, that's going to be, oh, that's going to be it for this one. And then I'm going to like photograph it and everything. I am just so in love with how this area turned out. I'm so in love with the sparkle and the glam. Like, like look at that. It's like I couldn't show fire, but it feels hot. So I don't know, a little thank you out there to everybody who's had an impact on my artistic abilities and career. And especially to those of you who actually encouraged me and actually supported me as opposed to trying to shove me underneath various objects, <laughs> metaphorical objects. I hope that's what you guys feel like I try to do for you, you know? That's why I make all of my information publicly available that's why I do all the tutorial videos. That's why I do these videos. Everybody's always like, oh, why do you, you know, why are you sharing all your information? Like somebody's just gonna rip you off and start their own business and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and I hope that you find joy doing mermaid tail making it. That's truly what you wanna do. I mean, this is not for the faint of heart. I'll tell you that for nothing. I just, I hope that you, that you find the kind of happiness that I've found doing whatever it is that you're doing. So that being said, that got deep, like fast. I know we weren't expecting that on a workshop Wednesday, but I just, you have to share these things. Like you guys have to know that it doesn't come so easy to me all the time. And that I'm made up of a lot of different people's, <laughs> you know, like fingerprints, you know, artistic fingerprints, if you will. I'm gonna get back to it and whatever it is you're doing, I hope it's bringing you joy, guys. so much for watching. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to join the pod and the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. If you don't want to say goodbye just yet, be sure to swim on over to patreonpod.com, our extended pod community. For as little as a dollar a month, you gain access to our monthly mermaid tail coloring challenge, the behind the scenes feed, the private discord community chat, the monthly private live stream, the private Instagram account, as well as the weekly podcast. So if any of that sounds good to you, again, that was over at patreonpod.com and we would love to have you join us. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming! Bye!